as I mentioned guys next build is the Dornier 17 um, all the instructions are what I'll do is I'll start painting um, all the cockpits and blow all the parts and that um, before I start painting I want to um, give you all a bit of information Airfix um, states that the colour the cockpit should be painted in an olive green colour now that is actually false all bombers apart from the ME110 had dust grey at some point 77 but so I just want to clarify everyone that don't you don't lie on the instructions use a dark grey sorry so uh, sorry my throat stubs or so I just want to clarify everyone what's going on and so yeah I'll start officially painting all little pieces on every single part as a load so I'll start with that then. Right now we've got all the parts painted. We now just have to just cut them. This first line should be. Now because they're very thin, and plus they're from Airfix, always use something that won't damage the model itself. Just cut very gently like that. You just take it to parts. One will stay there. Next part is so peace. So uh, guys, PPI. I don't have a proper bank account. What are they talking about? Um, where was I? B. B is no. That's not no. That's A. It's got to be B. Well, this guys, oh, that's it. It's the only trouble you find when making. Okay, we've always got parts that we always have to list every way. This. Yeah, I'll just cut the parts for a Okay, what's this for this? Right, I'm just going to start with this. There we go. Cut that piece out. That piece out. Like that. And let's see how they go. That's. Oh, okay. Let's see. Goes. There's a lot of delicacy on this kit, let's put it that way. A lot of delicacy. Uh, right, okay. Very, very. So it goes up and through this part here. So it's like that. Right, apparently. Like that. That's very, very complicated. Next piece, brilliant. This gonna be full. D, D. I just said D. That's. Oh, it's that piece there. Hold on. Sorry. This piece here. Have to be cut. Yeah, I say be very delicate when cutting. Because this one seventy two the parts can just snap easily off. Just fit it down a bit. Just 
like that to just trim it off. So how's this go? Oh, same way, brilliant. That goes through like that. Let's hold that in place. Yeah, that is very awkward. Very, very awkward and small. I've got some tweezers. Hold on. Ah. Very, very complicated that was. Such a small part. Ah, Jesus! I'm not used to 172nd kits. I'm always used to 148. This is absolute. Not even lined up properly. And that's supposed to be straight. See, it's very, very small. I see. So it does have a bit of an angle on it. Yep, yeah, so like that, folks. Uh, I'm actually very really worried to move that. Right, I'll have to let that dry now fully. I can't risk that. I can't risk that, brother. So I'll leave that to dry now. And then we'll continue with the next step, which is the seat. Right, now that's all done. And the seat on that, we can start by painting sidewalls now at first I think it's best right uh, we've got the MG15 magazines on the side of all the cockpit interior for the gunners just so use a very fine brush just very gently paint parts that you wish well you don't wish has to be painted just don't take that long. Do all them. Hmm. Yeah, just a bit more, I think. A bit more like that. And just paint as much of it as you can. Yeah, like that. Yeah, um oh you can't see it there yeah. Um I think what I'll do is I'll paint the rest of the magazine. Right now guys, um I basically didn't show any of the cockpit building but basically they are two fuselage halves in the cockpit and area. I am gonna be honest with everyone, that is a lot tiny fiddly bits in that cockpit. I even struggled with that seat. It does not match. Airfix have got it wrong. <laughs> if I put it like that, you can see the seat will fit. So what the best thing to do is to test it. Now I can always see that's not gonna fit. So I think the next step is like to glue the two fuselage shafts together. Right, so if it wishes to, if it wishes to, this one problem we're going to really have for this, right, there, sorted, that can stay till last, right that everyone, don't put that last seat until last, pain in the ass. excuse my French, this really annoyed me as that. Right.
Right, let's glue these two halves together. So far, I'm surprised of how the well detailed this cockpit is. And the model itself, of course. She's using very little tip. If I've got annoyed at 172nd to scale kit, anyone else will. Like that. So that's actually fitted about nicely together. If it will. Sif, there you go. Anyway, that's all fitted, so why is that fallen onto me? Need that my other model to get out of the way, my dad's building. Let's put some tape around and some edges. Like here. Ah, that's alright. Yes, I'm happy. I'm happy that is all in place. Now, it's very important now to leave that to dry. Um, the Bombay, Bombay here, I'm surprised again. I've added, I forgot to tell you, I added washes to both the cockpit and the inside surface of the Bombay. It is that nicely detailed. I like it. I'm actually enjoying this one cent seconds kit. Now, when I of course when I was young, I used to build one cent second kits, but this is amazing. Right. I think that's all send I have to send that down as a fair bit of seam lines. But I'm actually really happy with that. So I'm gonna leave that for tonight and see what else we can do some of the time later on when I get a chance to model again. Also, like I said, leave that to last. That seat, I have a place reserved and help for the person who designed that. No, everything's in place, everything's nicely in there. Yeah, I'm happy. Now, this has actually gone pretty well to be honest. Uh, I only need to fit the other seat in like that but apart from that everything has gone well and um, I've masked for the first time actually I've ever masked a canopy well rear gunner's canopy I'd say <laughs> but I've actually enjoyed making just with a sharp knife, just cut away like that. There you go. Uh, yes, I wouldn't say this model is for beginners because it is that. If I find it fiddly and complicated, I'm sure everyone else will. So, very little glue, just push that in. And that is the cockpit all completed and done. Yeah. Add just a touch more glue in a minute. You don't add too much glue because it can make it go horrible, but you won't you'll be able to see that once all modelled and done. So just put little taps of glue on the end. And push that on like that. If it always doesn't stick, you always get some head tape like this. You just
Dang it. Let, let's leave that to dry now. Um, so far, I've actually enjoyed that. Um, sorry. Yes, like I said, it's not for like new beginners. It's more for like. It, well, I wouldn't say it's not, but if you've had a lot of the experience of tiny little pieces, then go for it. But if you haven't. Just for those experiencing it, so because it's airfix, you will need some help. I, I got to a stage once where I just wanted to chuck that piece straight out the window, the whole bottle kit. But now that's all complete in there, I am pretty much happy with that. Um, I, the only thing it's so much detail now. I'm surprised how much airfix have like come better at this. Because I'm, I'm actually very surprised of what ethics have done this model kit. Because it is such lovely detail on it. I love it. I'm gonna, I swear to really you, I never hardly build one seventy second kits, but I absolutely love it. Yeah, I'm, I don't say how proud I am. Um, right, let's see what else we can do. Uh, I think what I'll do is um, I'll make the Bombay. If we, I've already had a wash dip, but I'll have to give some highlights, uh, paint some other parts, and then that'll be the main frame done. But there's a lot of detail on that Bombay. I'm, I'm going to leave the doors open in it. So I think what I'll do is, guys, I'll just um, end this video here, show the cockpit. Um, yeah, so if. Right, if you want any questions on what to do, how, and anything else like that, all you have to do is just give, um, put a comment, a like, subscribe, and, you know, just, just ask, just ask, you know, I'm not going to bite everyone's head off. <laughs> it's, or just, just ask if you need any help with, like, young people out there building, modeling. Um, yeah, what more can I say? What I'll do is I'll get everything ready for the next video and yeah, I'll leave, have it like that. Okay, thank you for watching guys and uh, hopefully I shall see you again soon with the next video. Okay, alright, bye for now.